Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, fresh off of a Marvel Snap stream, so if I sound a little bit uh, tired in the voice, it's because I just came off of streaming. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about the Fake Grand Order Developer Diary. You can literally just watch this video yourself. It's six minutes long. He, I, Tucson tries his best in English to tell you what's going on, and I appreciate him for it, but if you want to know... I guess through my... I don't know why the fuck you're watching this. Anyway, that's today's video. I hope you like it. And if you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. So the things that are coming over for New Year's that are confirmed now are the 2023 first three days of the New Year's limited login bonus. One rare prism on January 1st. Uh, some hero crystals all four on January 2nd. And on January 3rd, a Hail Holy Grail. Just easy. Three easy days. Anyone can do it. We are getting the panel missions, which is clear all 17 missions to receive five summon tickets, six sync quartz, and a variety of items. Open the panels to reveal a special artwork. If I can actually... One moment. Pause. All right. I wanted to look up the panel missions. Here we go. These are probably what they'll be. This is what they were in JP, but I doubt they change. So the first one will be to defeat three divine servants. Then it's defeat three good servants. Defeat three Japanese servants with human attributes. Defeat 21 enemies. Defeat three servants with A plus, uh, A plus rank, rank, rank luck. Defeat three colossal enemies. Obtain one ball-shaped ascension item. Skill of reinforcements items throughout the battle. I guess any skill gem. These, the, anything ball-like. Why the fuck were there balls? Clear one quest with the, at least one servant with the Japanese trade in the party. Easy. Defeat three enemies of the sky attribute. Clear one quest with at least one servant of the good alignment in the party. Obtain one red ascension item. Skill reinforcement item through battle. So any of these. Clear one quest with at least one servant with the divine attributes in the party. Obtain white ascension item, skill reinforcements items through battle. Obtain one gold ascension item, skill reinforcement item through battle. Clear a mountain stage quest. Clear a quest including at least uh, one lawful servant in the party and clear all missions to get everything. So you can see some of these open up on January 6th, January 3rd, January 2nd, January 1st. It's all over the place. And then you get this uh, reward as well, the one who carries the Grandmother. Increase crit damage on the engraved card, and when attacked with the engraved card, heals self for 100 HP. So there you go. Easy enough panel missions. 17 in all. Get a special artwork for finishing it. And next. Daily missions, New Year's limited version. Receive double rewards from completing missions. Clear three daily missions to receive 60 mana prisms. Receive up to 420 mana prisms for over seven days clear one quest clear two quests clear three quests 2020 20, 20 all pretty nice next limited time start dash login bonus and log in for 14 days and receive the rewards with up to 132 saint quartz and then for a limited time if you're returning log in for seven days and receive rewards worth up to 11 saint quartz summons this only applies if you are brand new or if you are returning. This does not apply to the people who are doing either. So if you've been playing for the game, don't don't expect anything. Here's the GSSR. It's divided up into class and female or male servants. I already did a video covering all this. You can kind of see very quickly here how they break up. There's the red three knights, red four cavalry, red extra. Um, and then there's the white three knights, the white four cavalries, and the white extra. You can see here these are divided into... Wait, how the hell are these divided? They're weirdly divided. Um, Lancer, Saber, Archer, Saber, two Sabers, Lancer, two Archers, another um, Saber, another Lancer. So they realize there's too many... <laughs> really goes to show that that there the women have to be divided because there's too many of them for it to make it a good GSSR. But the men, they can pretty easily kind of cut them in half. <laughs> Silly how that works out. Next, this is obviously, they call him like Senji Muramasa. He's the dude coming up. I already did a video on him. You don't, he's very good. If you're somehow are not summoning for him or you want to know if you should summon for him, um, if you're needing of an AoE, um, arts unit that is a saber or just in general very good, then he's good for you. Um, if you're a big fan of, uh, Emiya, then it doesn't matter what I say, you're summoning regardless, and there you go. So, next, 
I guess they confirmed them. I guess that's good. Log in, get 30 Saint Quartz. Yay. This starts on the 31st, it looks like. And it goes on to, yeah, the distribution period. I wonder how, why it's like that. But anyway, that's how it's going to be. Log in, get 30 Saint Quartz. Easy peasy. It's probably because on the 31st, it doesn't become the first again until <laughs> the next login. So I guess they just do it whenever. It's fine. Uh, and let's see, anything else? Yes, there was. Rated M, they showed- Oh shit! I have to be careful, I don't want to accidentally trigger some kind of bot to get me. This is the VN, they really want you to buy the VN. Um... I forget the name of this VN. Boy, what's the name of the VN? What's the name of the VN? Witch of the Holy Knight, they showed that. And then I think the other thing they showed, which I can't see here right now, is... No, where is it? And maybe it's all the way at the end. They showed the servant silhouette, which is pretty funny. It's what JP got, but let me just play for a little bit. There it is. Um, some servants debuting in 2023. Uh, these are pretty obvious. Everyone knows who they are. There's no surprises here as far as I can tell. If you don't want to know what they are, I won't say what they are, but... If you know, you know already. We know who every single one of these dudes are. So, it's very silly that they gave this to us when we know. It would be really funny if they snuck somebody in. I think that'd be a funny way of saying like, ah, you're not getting everything in order. But I don't think they did that, so. Yep, and that's everything that was in the Developer Diary Volume 4. So now we know everything that is coming for the event. And hey, this video ended up being around 6 minutes long too. So, that works out in the end. Uh, yeah. That's it. I think I'll end it here. Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.